Hey, what's up, guys? Devil Dog Gamer here, and welcome to another Fucked Up Fridays. And I know how much you guys enjoy this series, so I thought I'd bring a really cool story today. Um, this is my teenage years, of course, because all the bullshit that's fucked up happened in my teenage years. <laughs> well, there is some shit that happened in my, you know, more adult years, but I should say, maybe a little too soon to tell these stories. <laughs> but, um, anyways, as you all know, I live in Florida. Um, I live pretty close to the beach. Um, well, I used to. At that time, I lived about two miles from the beach. I mean, literally, I was at the beach every day surfing and all kinds of shit. Now, inland, there was this area, um, it was behind a shopping complex, and it was surrounded by neighborhoods, but we used to call it the dunes, because it was about 15, 20 acres of sand dunes. Just, it was hills around it, and then in the middle, it was just sand dunes everywhere, and it was just like its own sandy oasis. And it was middle of a neighborhood, like there was neighbor three neighborhoods on each side, and like a Publix and all this other shit uh, around it. And we used to, you know, go out there and have parties all the time. I mean, it was just really crazy. at bonfires, and it was. It, it looked like it, it looked like Tatooine. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna throw the Star Wars reference out there. It was. <laughs> I'll, I'll do it. It was fucking cool. Um, this one night in particular, we used to have parties there every weekend, and this one happened to be the biggest party we had had um, in that time. And the cops, nobody had ever bothered us when we were out there. We'd be loud, having music blaring, bonfires, nobody ever bothered us. Now, even though I was always going to these parties, you know, underage, fucking, all this shit, I was always smart about it. I didn't park my car anywhere close to there. I either rode with somebody, um, so that way I could roll out on foot if I had to, or parked really far away, far enough away to where I didn't, you know, nobody would be able to get my car right away. So, this one night in particular, I would taken my car, um, I went ahead and I parked a few blocks away and walked there and literally there were about four pickup trucks with kegs on the back um, speakers you know blaring music there it must have been like 40 50 people there and they had pallets and fucking I know you're not supposed to burn pallets and shit but um they had pallets stacked up huge bonfire going everybody's drinking having a good time partying and this went on till about I don't know a little after midnight we were all out there getting fucked up, you know, having a great time, girls everywhere, fucking, yeah, I almost killed that dude by accident, um, you know, having a good time, partying and shit, and everything's alright, and then all of a sudden, fucking, everyone's like, cops, run, cops, run, and I'm like, what the fuck, and I swear to god, there were cops on ATVs coming down the hill and shit, and I'm like, holy fuck, like, driving in the sand dunes, and all I could see were lights, red and blue lights all around. They had like all the ways out of the sand dunes blocked. And people were trying to get their pickup trucks out of the sand and shit. getting them stuck. People were running and falling drunk all over the place and shit. And fucking, you know, it's, it's one thing to see drunk people walk and stuff. But trying to see a fucking chick run up a fucking sand dune plastered as hell is probably the most priceless thing you'll ever see in your life. It's just four steps forward, ten steps back kind of deal. <laughs> But lights everywhere, so I take off. I fucking find it. I find the woods, and I sit in the woods, and I hang out. I don't really do anything. I'm watching everybody else just go around. Cops are coming over the hills and stuff and shit. And the funny part was the helicopter shows up. I swear to God, the fucking sheriff's helicopter shows up with a spotlight and starts searching everywhere. So I'm like, oh, fuck. At that point, I'm like, all right, I need to get the hell out of here. So I found the nearest street fucking followed behind some houses and stuff walking my, my happy ass away decided I'm, I'm not gonna fucking touch my car I'm not going anywhere I'd had too much to drink cops everywhere fuck no uh, I'm gonna walk home <laughs> so that's what I did my happy ass walked home and uh, the next day at school because I think that was a Sunday night we did that um, yeah it was a Sunday night because the next day at school I remember there were a lot of people who weren't there <laughs> but um yeah, everyone had been, most everyone had gotten busted. I mean, people were, they were getting people as they were coming over to get cars. People had parked their cars along the entrances of the dune and shit. Cops were waiting out there grabbing people. Um, and they said they had canines searching people's cars. Fucking all kinds of crazy shit. They said they had to bring the fire department out to fucking put out the huge bonfire we had. And um, I was like, that's fucking insane. I mean, like, that was by far the biggest and craziest party I ever went to. It was just a huge ass fucking party. And the cops just came in and fucking spoiled it for everybody. But, um, it was definitely, I mean, the funniest part about it was watching stupid bitches try to get out of that fucking, the sand dunes. I mean, <laughs> I mean, like, and it was funny because when I, when I first got there, I remember I saw this one chick and she had high heels on. I'm like, high heels? 
when you're out in the sand. That's that's amazing. Like it didn't make any sense to me. Like I I thought, wow, you're fucking like the brightest chick I've ever seen in my life. Like honestly, fucking wearing heels to a fucking sand dunes. That's fucking stupid. But like you know, the guys with the pickup trucks and stuff with the kegs. Oh, they got fucked. Oh, all of them got you know contributing to the delinquency of a minor because they were all over 21 and shit. But I mean wasn't the brightest party we ever had. I mean, it was such a public area, and so many people, and so loud. I mean, we'd had parties at the beaches and stuff, and they they drew less attention than this party. I mean, bonfires, everything. I mean, you name it, we had it there. But uh, I definitely do miss those days. It was kind of a lot of fun, you know, chilling there, having parties, you know, a lot of people. It's good times. It was a lot of good times. Now you go to the bar, and it's boring. <laughs> I mean, there isn't really much to say other than that, but... Yeah, so that was uh, one of my favorite parties that I uh, got busted up, and uh, glad I never got arrested. That would have been a, a bad news, but uh, definitely just glad I left my car there and didn't try driving away and get busted by the fucking cops and shit. But um, almost a failure there. But don't forget to give it a like, leave a comment, and uh, until next Friday, guys. Talk to you later. Peace.